Okie dokie, this is a tutorial video for the intro of Pull Me Under by Dream Theatre from the album Images and Words. So you start off on the bass E string, this one at the uh, bottom here. From there, you want to pick the 7th fret of the D string, which is that one. And from there, you want the G string open. Okay. And you let all notes ring out and use a little bit of your tremolo, so... Let's move the camera a bit. Okay, so, E string open, 7th fret on the D string, and then open G string. And the picking timing is this. And use a bit of tremolo. Now the next... Uh, phrase is same again e, when you start E string now we're going for the fourth fret of the D string and then again open on the G and using your tremolo so the second phrase is so so far we got this The next phrase, we're switching strings. We start again on the E, open, but this time we're using the A string on the 4th fret, which is there. Let me move that the way. And then again, using the G open. And the tremolo. And the 4th uh, phrase, or the 4th se section of this phrase, is sliding down one fret on that A, so then you're going... You might have time to use your tremolo, but as soon as you've played that, we go into the next part. So if we just do those, um, all four of those together. One, two... Now after that, at the end of the fourth phrase, we don't hang on to the notes as long. Uh, we play open D, second fret of the G string, then the open B string. So if I just play that, and that, again, if you've got time, give it a bit of tremolo. And that is played almost immediately after that uh, fourth phrase. So the fourth bit, Play that again. If we play all five pieces together, then it should sound something like this. One, two. Now I believe that is played four times. After that, where we hang on to each note at the end, we add in a couple more notes. So again, you're playing that, uh, that first little section again. But instead of hanging on to those notes, you're adding onto the end of it. Um, some people like to play the bass E a uh, second time. So I'll play you both. The first one would be... And the other way would be... Oops, get it the right way around. Okay, move so you can see my picking hand. Um, easy to see like that. And it's the same for all the sections when playing that, so it'll be. But at the end of that phrase, instead of playing the regular little three notes, um, we're playing off the first fret of the E string. So instead of having the D followed by the G on the second fret, followed by the B string, 
we've got the first fret of the E, then second fret of the G string, open B. Okay, so that would be. It's a lovely little chord, uh, imperfect cadence for those of you that know musical terms. So if we um, do that second phrase again with the added notes on the end, and it should sound something like this one, two. Here we go. And I believe that then continues again as the distorted car uh, distorted guitar comes in. That is the end of the clean intro for the song.